MHA season seven. I can't believe we're actually up to seven seasons. It honestly feels like MHA season six came out like last month. I think I'm just used to anime like One Punch airing a season and then just disappearing off the face of the earth. That MHA doing one season every single year consistently just feels wrong. But uh, I guess we'll see what Bones is cooking for season seven. Wait, wait really quick. What were the ratings like, like for season six? Transition. Man, MHA is so all over the place, bro. So every single dot is in a different episode. And then like each is it's by season. It's so crazy. Like every season has a very high high and a very low low. It's kind of funny. I feel like this, this describes MHA perfectly too. I do not understand this. Every single dot is an episode. So this is season one and it's the ratings. The user ratings based off of IMDB basically. The highest rated episode, probably All Might versus uh, All for One. Yep, one for all. That's one of the best episodes of anime. That's one of my favorite fights in anime. I think... MHA peaked here. Like, uh, infinite 100%. His start was also really good. Oh, yeah, the gentle criminal arc at the end of season four into the beginning of season five with, uh, exhibition matches. Oh, yeah, that was a rough timeline. Like, this group of, like, 30 episodes, 20 episodes. That was pretty rough, I will say. Let's watch the trailer and see what's in store. Last season ended with, uh, America herself showing up. A screech of freedom. <laughs> Oh, there, there's, uh, there's subtitles, right? You can auto-generate them? Is it reliable? Auto-translate? English. Overcoming despair and going beyond that. Even further, too! Protect yourself and- Okay, I'm gonna be honest, it's just distracting. I'm gonna just gonna- I'm gonna anticipate what's happening. We got new fits, at least. All for one? Kind of spoilery, he confronts him. I mean, it was bound to happen. Yeah, we kind of got to clean up last se from last season, man. I don't know if this is a hot take, but I feel like when one of my favorite parts of the past few seasons was whenever they focused on just the villains, and I liked that cast and the dynamic between that cast more, it says a lot more about the hero cast and how little they are fleshed out. I've always said the biggest downfall to MHA is there's way too many students, like, as part of the main cast, you don't get to, like, connect with all of them. You don't get to know them that well. They're all just kind of, like, mildly fleshed out. I miss him so much. Nah, Ida's fit, Ida's fit looks gas, actually. I like it. It's honestly, my, it's, I think it's better than his, his old one. That's gas. Oh my gosh, bro. Dobby looks so good too. Oh my gosh. Is that the Batmobile? Wait, sorry, I keep pausing, bro. I just realized. Sag. <laughs> I, I completely forgot about that. Dude, dude, she better be cool. She better represent America well, man. I better hear an eagle screech every with every fist that lands, all right? It looks good. Honestly, this looks like every other MHA trailer. Yeah, I think the only shot that looks bad is, for some reason, the, the Batmobile just looks off. I don't know how to explain it. Is it like 3D? Not a huge fan of this. I don't know what's going on here with Shigaraki. Not a huge fan. But uh, Dobby, big upgrade. Ida, big upgrade. Yeah, dude, Dobby looks sick, bro. Dobby looks... Dope. Cautiously optimistic, as always, about, about MHA. When is it? 5-4? How do they do dates in Japan? Is that May 4th or March 5th? That's why you watch sub, not to enjoy a good story, but to learn Japanese. We are not the same, Jack. Okay. It is on my calendar. Oh, sorry. April 5th. Guys, March wasn't even an option. I'm trying my best, guys. This feels like such a doomer take, but MHA was way better when All Might was the focus. I'm sorry. I said it. It's still good. I never watched it, so nuh uh. The teachers are all so cool. The villains are all so cool. And I think they should have done a time skip. I don't know if they do in the manga, but they, a time skip would make it so much cooler. Like to where they're like young adults would be dope. I think the Dark Era didn't last long enough. They should have started the Dark Era, the Vigilant anti-era of Deku and then done a time skip during that era. It literally felt like Deku ran away, quit school, and like a week went by. And then he saw his classmates and then he's like, yo. It should have been a time skip. It should have been a time skip. It would have been so much cooler to see them all grow up. And then he's still like this dark vigilante Deku and they bring him back in, but they're all young adults. It'd be so cool. I know it was a few months. It just didn't feel like it because it didn't portray it that strongly. It didn't, uh, it didn't aggressively display that. MHA is back. I mean, that's one thing you can count MHA on for being those like consistent. Like I said, it's every year we're here, baby. The story continues.